Well, time to move on to our next management. We have Ganesha Ecosphere. The company's board had approved a total fundraise of close to around 500 crores by the promoter route as well as by the QIP route. Mr. Yash Sharma, the director of the company, joins us on the show. Uh, hi, Yash. Morning. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, tell us, what are you going to be using this money for? I believe it's for B2B chips. Uh, give us some further clarity on that. What is this money going to be used for? Uh, and also, what could the asset turn be on this particular, you know, roughly 500 crores that you're talking about? Hi, hi, good morning. First of all, thank you so much uh, for inviting me here. So yes, uh, we've announced a fundraise recently, uh, and that is to basically increase our bottle-to-bottle -bottle, uh, product portfolio. And uh, I, I mean, it's basically for the B2B uh, you know, product that we're going to increase our capacities very aggressively in the next uh, upcoming years. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right, uh, Yash, couple of, uh, uh, these... yeah, just a couple of queries. Uh, you know, what is your current B2B chip capacity? And post this 500 crores, what does it go to, point number one? And in terms of revenues at optimal levels, what can it look like? What is B2B right now in revenues? What does it go to? So, uh, so first of all, answering your asset turn question. So the average asset turn that we're looking at is between 1.4 to 1.7 in this business. Uh, now, uh, coming on to your next question about uh, the current capacity, the current operational capacity that we have is 14,000 tons per annum. Uh, we've already made uh, two announcements to increase, to triple this capacity to 42,000 tons for the next year itself, uh, you know, which is going to come alive uh, in the Q4 and the Q1 uh, the, of the respective uh, quarters coming on. And of post that, uh, we're planning to increase the capacity to around, uh, you know, uh, 80,000 tons uh, in the next uh, two to three years. Okay. Uh, you know, there is some pressure, Yash, that you're facing on your margins. Your operational performance has been a bit weak. In fact, in uh, the quarter gone by, you saw almost a 200 basis points year-on-year drop in your margins. Uh, what was the reason for that and uh, what is the outlook? Do you see more pressure in the second half? Sure. So basically, you know, uh, the textile industry in general has been, you know, in a pressure uh, for the for the most part of this year. Uh, and, you know, since, since we also being, you know, a major supplier in the textile industry have also faced those headwinds. Um, but we've already started seeing, uh, you know, improvement in the numbers. Um, you know, last quarter was slightly better uh, than the previous one. And we're, we're already seeing, uh, you know, much more improvement uh, uh, currently at the current space. I think we should be back on track to our historical performance uh, in the next uh, coming quarters. So okay. can you, I mean, what was your historical performance? What's the band that you're looking at for the margins? So in the textile space, we usually look at 10.5 uh, to 12 percent average EBITDA margin levels. Uh, that's what we expect uh, in the uh, in the on, uh, ongoing business as well. Uh, in the All right, y Yash, I wanted some clarity. Uh, you said the B2B capacity post this fund 500 crores will go to around 80,000 tons. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah. And what is the current utilization levels in the B2B chip segment as of now uh, with the capacity that you have? So in the current operation capacity of 14,000 tons, uh, we are running at full utilization levels already. Uh, we have okay. received uh, you know, approvals from major global FMCG brands and beverage brands in this space. So uh, we're currently running at full capacity. In fact, um, uh, the, the oncoming uh, investments as well, uh, we foresee that it is going to be uh, you know, highly utilized in the next year as well. Okay, so you're saying demand is there. Now it's only a question of getting your capacity on stream for you to scale up. Are we getting that correct? That's right. That's right. Yeah. And from this 500 crores, going by the number that you're talking about, well, close to around 700 crores of revenues is what you can generate. Uh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, we've been looking at a... Yeah. Please go ahead. So we're basically looking at an approximate uh, CAGR growth of 20 to 22 percent in the next uh, three to five years. For the full business, only this segment? Yeah, in the bottled world segment specifically. Uh, overall revenue, uh, you, we can talk about, yeah. yeah. No, no, because for year to date, if I look at the half year mark, actually there's been a degrowth. Uh, you know, in mm -hmm. terms of revenues, at the half year mark, I think you've done around 535 crores, which compares around 600 crores. And margins are holding around 10%. So since you're talking about the company on the whole, and you're talking about a CAGR of more than 20%, tell us what do you end this year with? That's FI24. And now you'll have capacities that will come on stream as well. So how do you see the revenue numbers scale up? And if I got you correct earlier, you said around 10% should be the rough margin. So clarify on the revenues. 
So on the revenue side, so definitely, you know, that's what I said. We are planning a, for the next three to four years, we are planning aggressively increasing our bottle to bottle capacity specifically. And we're looking at uh, a 20 to 22% CAGR in the next three to four years. Uh, for the uh, next year onwards, uh, we definitely look are looking at between 1700 to 1900 crores of revenues for FY25. Um, on an average, and then, and then uh, the margin in the traditional big businesses, you know, is around uh, ten to twelve percent. Whereas in the bottle to bottle project, it's it's uh, uh, northwards of twenty percent. Hmm. Uh, can you tell us a little bit? Uh, you said seventeen hundred crores of revenues, is it? Uh, for the, for FI twenty five, yeah. For FI twenty five, seventeen hundred crores of revenues is what you're targeting. How much of that will be exports? Because your exports were down almost 30% year on year. And I understand that, the, you know, this ind entire industry is facing some pressure in exports. But uh, do you think there will continue to be more pressure there? And out of the 1,700 crores, how much will come in from exports, you think? Uh, sure. So basically, you're, you're right. You know, uh, the textile Indian, Indian exports on general have gone down by around 20 to 25% uh, in the last few quarters. Uh, so we've already started seeing some improvement. Uh, what we're also doing is we're kind of re-strategizing our uh, textile business uh, in, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, diversifying to the other markets away from the apparel market in order to, you know, uh, uh, again, you know, de-risk our business from the, from the uh, pure textile side of the, of the, of the, of the industry. Um, on the other hand, the, the bottle to bottle business is the packaging industry. Now, since uh, we are being supported by the regulations, by the, uh, you know, so many brands who want to uh, continue their sustainability, their journey aggressively in the next couple of years, uh, this part of the business on the other side looks very promising right now. Okay. Uh, so, can you tell us what are the kind of realizations that you're seeing at current levels, both in terms of fiber as well as yarn? And what is the outlook on realizations for uh, the second half of the year? So, uh, you, uh, sorry, are you talking about the uh, price uh, levels of the uh, products? Yes. Uh, so basically, the fibers, uh, the current average price that we are selling the fibers for are between uh, seventy to eighty rupees. Uh, on the other hand, for the yarns, it's uh, somewhere between one hundred and thirty to one hundred and eighty rupees, uh, one hundred and sixty rupees average pricing. And uh, uh, yeah, that's that's uh, what it is in the textile part. Okay, Ashvi, let you go on that note. Thanks a lot for joining in.